Hi, my name's Brooke. And uh, in a previous interview, you said, who are we trying to influence and how can we speak their language rather than just talk about what we believe? Mm -hmm. And yet from our understanding, sometimes these women are being oppressed by their own religions or cultures. Mm -hmm. So um, how do we promote the empowerment of women while still respecting their religions? Absolutely. And that's a really, really very good question. Um, and, and, and I think it's a very important one for us to consider. We have um, recently developed something, um, a leadership model, and it's really principles that not only um, we are t teaching and we've learned from women around the world, but it's also principles that we live by. It's part of our DNA, part of our culture and our values as an organization. And the second principle is rooted in the community, roots in the community and how critical that is. It's so easy to lead up here with your title and your position and your beautiful office and your great salary, but if you go into the community with the people, it's not as easy, right? Um, and it's being rooted in the community in which you operate um, is, is absolutely critical to make change. And what that is all about at the end of the day is empathy, being able to understand, put yourself in someone else's shoes. And that is not often a quality that is talked about or thought about when you think about leadership, empathy, right? I mean, it's not, I mean, you think about a leader being up there and not being able to understand, but if you cannot put yourself, you know, in the shoes or, or see the world through the eyes of the person that you're trying to lead, you're really not a responsible leader. So that's one of the, one of the values that we learn from the women we work with and that we try to live here every day.